Hello everybody and welcome back to the ASUS North America YouTube channel. This is JJ once again and we're bringing you guys another overview. If you guys have been checking out the channel recently, we of course have been talking about a lot of Z87 motherboards. And this one is not going to be any different. Uh, but it's going to be very special because first and foremost, it's an ROG motherboard overview. Um, but we're also going to be covering an entirely new SKU with the Maximus 6 Hero. Uh, the Hero is a very, very special SKU for us. We've been working on it for a very long period of time. And it's really designated for you guys that have wanted the opportunity at buying an ROG board and getting a huge amount of the features, functions, uh, design, and overall performance-oriented aspects that ROG brings to the table, but at a much lower cost. Um, so as always, we're going to be talking about features, functionality, design, um, pretty much everything that makes the Hero the Hero SKU. And uh, we're also going to, of course, be covering some of the ex uh, accessories and some of the contents that come included with the board. And then we'll wrap it up for you and give you a little bit of perspective on where the Maximus 6 Hero fits in terms of our ASUS uh, ROG lineup and Z87 as a whole as well as where you might be wanting to consider the Hero if you're going to be building a brand new uh, Z87 based system. So with that, first let's go ahead and take a look at the accessories that come included with our Hero board. Alright guys, so we've gone ahead and cracked open the box. There's a number of different accessories. We're going to go through these uh, quickly. We've got six SATA 6G cables. These are all SATA 6G as the motherboard has six SATA 6G ports natively from the PCH plus two additional ports. We've got our Q connectors. These are the front leads uh, that allow you to go ahead and more easily connect things like your power, your reset, power LED, things along those lines, and you have another one there for USB. For you guys that are interested in multi-GPU configuration, specifically SLI, we have an SLI ribbon cable. Uh, keep in mind for Crossfire, Crossfire cables come included with your GPUs if you're purchasing an AMD-enabled graphics card. From there, we have our IO shield, uh, like always on ROG series. This is a padded IO shield, helps to go ahead and block uh, EMI from coming in through the backplane, plus makes it a nice uh, softer backplane to be able to work with when installing it into our chassis. From there, we've also got this cool little uh, door hanger, which goes ahead and lets you know, uh, do not disturb when I'm gaming, or feel free to go ahead and enter well I'm when I'm not gaming. Uh, we've got a, a updated cool ROG case bag, so you can go ahead and throw that on the front of your chassis or wherever you'd like to go ahead and be able to represent ROG. We've got a really cool set of uh, stickers that you can go ahead and affix to the serial ATA cables uh, that allow you to go ahead and easily map um, which drive is correspondingly connected with which cable to which port. Although we've got an entirely new feature in the UEFI that pretty much makes this uh, not needed. So make sure to check out our UEFI overview video if you want more information on that. Of course, we've got a complete manual that gives you all the features, functions, specifications of the board, as well as aspects on installation. Make sure to read this if you have any information on getting your Maximus 6 Hero up and running. And from there, of course, we have our support DVD. This contains a lot of special software outside of the standard drivers you need to get your system up and running. Uh, this also includes a full one-year licensed version of 2013 Kaspersky Antivirus, as well as it also comes included with Daemon Tools Pro Standard, a full complete version. Both of those are non-trial pieces of software, so they are big value adds and give you guys a lot more flexibility for your system and functionality. Also, you're going to want to make sure to install this to take advantage of AI Suite 3, which gives you all the tuning software in Windows, plus our Turbo V Core. Turbo V Core is a new lightweight application specifically focused for you guys that want to be able to tweak and tune the board, but without having maybe other aspects of the AI Suite application running. But AI Suite 3 is awesome. You can also check out a full video that we're going to be doing on that if you're interested in that. And lastly, another key part that we'll talk a little bit more when we get to the board is you have a full complete version of ROG RAM disk software on that disk that you can go ahead and install. And we'll talk about what you can do with that when we talk about the board. Uh, so from here, let's actually head over and take a look at the Maximus 6 Hero itself and talk about some of the features, functionality, and overall new aspects that this uh, board is going to be bringing to the market. Okay guys, uh, now that we've gone ahead and covered the accessories, we have here the brand new Maxima 6 Hero. Uh, so you can see right off the bat, of course, it maintains uh, the red and black and white color aesthetic that ROG has historically been known for. Uh, it looks great, it feels high performance, uh, you know, and the overall connectivity is still outstanding. It really is an awesome board in terms of us distilling down uh, some of the higher end features that you would normally find on the side, like the Extreme or the Hero, but still keeping a key design philosophy 
philosophy that really allows you guys to have uh, better than what you're going to normally find on even our high performance and our high quality mainstream series, taking it up a notch in terms of it being an ROG board, um, but being able to maintain a great price to performance ratio with still an extremely high level of functionality and a strong level of features. And so we're going to go ahead and first cover a lot of the design topology and connectivity that we have available to you on the board. And uh, once we go ahead and cover those points, we'll also jump into aspects of uh, the VRM and some unique updates that we've gone ahead and integrated for this generation, plus some special software that ties into hardware implementations that we have for this generation. So first off, let's go ahead and take a look at connectivity and uh, connections that we have uh, laid out throughout the board. Okay guys, so starting right here from the top, you can see that we have an 8-pin CPU power connection. And moving from there to the right-hand side, we of course have a couple of our Nichicon GT 10K capacitors. And from there we have two 4-pin CPU uh, fan headers, one for a CPU fan and there's one for a secondary optional fan. So that's going to be great for you guys that are running push and pull fan configurations, or you need one for your CPU pump, and then another one for, let's say, the fan that's on the radiator for a closed loop water cooling solution. Now, these headers, like all the headers that are going to be on the board, are fully controllable inside of the UEFI, as well as fully controllable inside of our AI Suite 3 software. And they both support 3-pin and 4-pin control operations. So once again, ROG is giving you an outstanding level of control and flexibility of being able to uh, make adjustments in relation to how you cool and how you tune your system, uh, which is critical to also get the best acoustics. Now, when moving past that, we're going to go over here to the kind of primary kind of, let's say, uh, onboard control area for the board if you're working it generally outside of a chassis or first working when setting it up. So we've got a debug decode LED. That's great if you guys want to reference either the manual or the internet for information on uh, troubleshooting your system. It's if it's having problems, let's say, starting up or posting. Uh, from there, right below that, we have a memo K button, which also serves as the go button. That's a great and easy way to be able to go ahead and bypass memory initialization issues. If, let's say, you're mixing and matching dims, make upgrades or even overclocking you can go ahead and just to press that button and instead of clearing out the entire CMOS of the system it'll just reset frequency related parameters and get you back up and running but keeping things like your RAID, your fan controls and all that stuff in place. Uh, also will serve as a go button where you can store an overclock profile at the touch of a button um, within uh, the UEFI. From there we have of course onboard start and reset buttons and moving down from there uh, we'll touch on this when we actually get into the CPU section but you can see some of the new high performance uh, ultra high amperage uh, chokes that we have on here specifically our black wing chokes. We have another four pin uh, fan header moving down from there we've got our 24 pin power we have a front USB 3 connection of course that fully supports USB 3 boost to enhance storage performance uh, from there we have eight serial ATA uh, connections six of those natively provided by the PCH all being SATA 6G and the uh, seventh and eighth ports also being SATA 6G provided by an AS Media 1061 controller so a huge amount of storage connectivity available to you on the Hero Moving down here towards the bottom, of course, we've got the classic front headers for power reset, uh, power LED, hard drive LED, things like that. Right next to that, another four pin fan header, just like all the rest of them, all fully controllable. Right above that, uh, we actually have a header that ties into the direct key button. So this is a great and easy way at having a one touch button to reboot you straight into the UEFI. Don't have to worry about hitting that F1 or delete key. Even if it's installed inside the chassis, instead of running the lead to the front chassis header, you can go ahead and run your reset cable straight to this header right here, and your reset button would turn into an external direct key button, so nice touch there. Uh, moving past from that, we've got a integrated USB 2 header, and from here, we've got something very special that we'll show you uh, and, uh, a little bit later in the video, which is going to be the OC panel connection. This is going to be a special header which will allow you to go ahead and utilize an external control uh, device to be able to have advanced control for your system in terms of temperatures, monitoring, overclocking, and a lot of other cool things. So make sure to check out our uh, OC panel informational video if you want more information on what makes the OC panel unique. Now keep in mind it wasn't covered in the accessories because it doesn't come included with the board. From there we've got TPM for you guys that are interested in advanced security and then we have our HD audio uh, connection for the front chassis. Now keep in mind that here highlighted through this entire section is going to be our redline audio design. So this is a fully isolated audio design where we've gone ahead and separated essentially the entire audio um, 
excuse me, the audio portion of the board independent from the primary rest of the board. So this is something that we've pioneered and now had for multiple generations on our ROG gaming series. Uh, we've done it first and we've done it the best. And we've gone ahead and even actually upgraded it from our previous generation where we've gone ahead and incorporated Elna audio capacitors. So these capacitors are different than your standard high performance 10K capacitors because the electrolytic content within them is specifically designed for actually audio reproduction. Um, so overall, you're going to get improved clarity, better sound stage, better warmth. Overall, at the end of the day, you're going to get the best audio you're going to get uh, from any integrated motherboard solution. So whether it's movies, music, or games, great level of uh, performance. Plus, even for you guys that necessarily aren't always the most uh, perception, uh, excuse me, have the most perception at being able to pick up improved audio, you will even have your default volume level be increased. So for you guys that are looking for louder, sharper, and clearer tones, you're going to get it right off the bat. Um, now, there is also an entirely new special function that we have for this generation called Sound Radar. Uh, Sound Radar is going to be an on-screen, uh, let's say, radar system that will be able to detect in-game audio and map it and tell you exactly where that audio is coming from. And that's going to be exclusive uh, for Supreme FX series boards such as this Maximus 6 Hero. So a very cool uh, function and feature that we have here on this board. Moving up from here in terms of the rest of the connectivity, we of course have another 4-pin uh, fan header. And that rounds out the total connectivity that we have there. In terms of our standard slot expansion, pretty straightforward. We have a by one, by 16, by one, by 16, by one, and another by 16. Board fully supports Crossfire and SLI, so that's either a primary electrical by 16, physical by 16, or if you're running Crossfire and SLI, a by eight and by eight configuration. With your last one uh, potentially being a by four, depending on how you configure it inside the UEFI and how many controllers you're utilizing at one time. So a great amount of flexibility. Also for you guys that are even running triple slot enabled cards, we have optimal spacing so that you don't have any overhang or if you're using only two slot enable cards, you have ideal breathing room in between each one of the cards. So next up, we're gonna go ahead and actually take a look at a bare board and dive a, little bit, uh, dive a little bit more into the Extreme Engine Digi power design implementation that we have on our Maximus 6 Hero. Okay guys, so we've gone ahead and uh, actually taken apart a Maximus 6 Hero and uh, we're directly showing you an exposed section of the VRM. So this is all the voltage regulation. Uh, now, the <coughs> new fourth generation Core Series processor, aka Haswell, has an actual PWM, a digital controller built inside of it. Um, but that doesn't mean that the board still is not going to have to have high quality power components to be able to supply power to the CPU, uh, whether it's at stock or overclock configurations. And this being an ROG board, even though it's our entry level board, has an outstanding level of power componentry phased on it better than any one of our channel series boards, and it's actually utilizing the overall same componentry and same design that we feature on our Maximus 6 Extreme, uh, which has actually set world record performance at over seven gigahertz and over 37,700 memory. Uh, so very impressive there. So first off of the bat, you can see that we have a, a robust eight stage uh, inductor design, so an eight phase design. These feature our new 60 amp uh, black wing chokes, so these are extremely high amperage inductors. They're actually more power output and ca capable with these inductors than even the inductors that we use on X79, which requires more power because uh, there's more cores, there's more cache, and you can go to even higher frequencies. Um, they also additionally feature, uh, feature a specialized design that aids in heat dissipation for these inductors, uh, helping us to bring down the temperature per each one of these. So overall, that helps improve your stability and your overall thermal efficiency for your VRM. Now, in addition to that, we can see that, of course, we have our MOSFETs and our drivers from the NetSpec excuse me, a uh, NextFET power block design. And uh, that works in conjunction with these high performance inductors to really give us an outstanding level of power delivery. Now on top of that, of course, we continue to utilize these ultra high performance uh, and premium grade capacitors. These are Nichicon GT Japanese capacitors rated at 10K operation versus the industry norm of five, uh, excuse me, the industry norm of 2K and even better than our standard series motherboards which feature 5K rated capacitors. In addition to their improved lifespan, they also have the benefit of supporting significantly lower temperatures and significantly higher temperatures. So overall, while you're getting, let's say, the entry level on on the ROG side of the fence in terms of uh, this new Maximus 6 Hero, you're not compromising the overall quality, uh, the performance, or the overall componentry that we're going to be integrating on this motherboard. So you can still feel confident that regardless of whether you're running it at stock, whether you're gaming, or whether you're overclocking, the Hero is going to have all the power that you need to be able to back it up. So with that, let's go ahead and jump over to the I.O. and the back plane connectivity. Okay guys, so here taking a look at the I.O., let's see what we have. 
Uh, first off, we have a combo PS2 port, so this is great for you old school gamers or tweakers that still want to be able to have uh, the PS2 connection that supports both keyboard and mouse. We have two USB 2 ports. Directly underneath that, we have our USB BIOS flashback button. That works with our USB BIOS flashback technology, which allows you to take a flash drive, load in the UEFI update, plug it in, and no CPU, no memory, no graphics card. Just go ahead and press the button and directly update the UEFI. Even if the board is failing to post due to maybe the UEFI becoming corrupted, it's a great way to go ahead and recover it and get back up and running. Uh, from there, you've got two more USB 2 ports, an HDMI output, which of course works in conjunction with the iGPU that's on uh, the motherboard. We have a Toslink optical output that works in conjunction with the Supreme FX audio implementation and takes advantage of our DTS2 Ultra 2 PC and DTS Connect uh, software package, which allows you to do full hardware-based real-time encoding of two-channel audio up to 7.1 channel audio. We've got four USB 3 ports, uh, which work in conjunction with the onboard USB 3 front header, so that gives you a total of six. And all of those, of course, a feature are USB 3 boost uh, performance optimization technology for storage devices. You additionally get the benefit of having USB Charger Plus, which allows you to quick charge um, mobile devices, like let's say your smartphone, your tablet, or e-readers. It uh, doesn't matter whether it's an iOS, Windows-based device, or an Android based device. You've got an Intel i-series gigabit Ethernet control, latest generation. It's the i200 series. In addition to it having reduced power utilization, higher throughput, and more management options through the Intel Pro Set, you also get a great addition in our Game First 2 packet priority software. This is specifically optimized to reduce your gaming uh, base latencies, reduce your ping, and overall give you better network connectivity and improved performance, not only for gaming, uh, but even for network-centric services like streaming, downloading, and general web browsing. And that's all easy adjustable in a uh, real-time application that's inside of Windows and can even be matched uh, to a supplemental network adapter. So even if you go ahead and install a wireless USB-based adapter or PCIe-based adapter, you'd still be able to use Game First. In addition to that, of course, we have all our analog audio connectivity, which links up to the Supreme FX isolated integrated um, audio implementation. And that rounds out what we have here in terms of the audio connectivity. So with that, let's go ahead and wrap things up. Okay guys, so that wraps up a quick overview that we have on our brand new Maximus 6 Hero. Uh, so as you guys can see, this is definitely uh, a new SKU that we're offering, um, but not compromising in terms of overall the key hallmarks that really allow this to be uniquely an ROG oriented SKU. You still have outstanding hardware specification, great performance, overclockability, tweakability, everything that you would expect to get in an RG series motherboard, uh, but while really being distilled down for you guys that are looking for more value in terms of more aggressive price point, but still keeping all those strong features, such as of course our Supreme FX isolated audio design, Intel series network controller with game first packet priority technology, full advanced fan expert 2 technology to fully customize and tune every single fan header with both 4 pin and 3 pin support, a great set of supplemental software ranging from a full version of Kaspersky antivirus to Daemon Tools Pro to also even offering you a full uh, usable and very easy to work with RAM disk utility. It allows you to go ahead and take advantage of the high performance memory overclocking capability that we have on this board and be able to create your own RAM disk volume uh, to be able to go ahead and optimize any type of applications or specialized files that you want to go ahead and run directly through memory. Um, so overall when you kind of fact that together the Maximus 6 Hero really fits the bill for somebody that's wanting to set up an awesome dedicated gaming board focused you know, at either one or two GPUs, but still keeping a huge amount of flexibility at what they have to offer in terms of key features that are towards gamers, uh, as well as overclockers. So as always, if you guys have any questions, comments, feedback, we'd love to see them here on the page. Drop them into the comments section. You can also make sure to hit us up on our North American Facebook and Twitter pages. If you enjoyed the video, please make sure and like it and thumbs up. And as well, if you want to keep continuing to see more videos, make sure and subscribe.